The book is Letters to Trump. You can get it at 45books.com. 45books.com, any major bookstore, Amazon.com, 45books.com. It is a fascinating book, Mr. President. Thank you. you had a good relationship with uh, Michael Douglas, a good relationship with his father. At one point, you had a good relationship with Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger, he has become one of the uh, radicals on this climate change and was very critical of you later. What, what do you think it is? We talked about it, it being politics, but they're particularly angry with you. Do you think it's because you were effective? Do you think it's because, like now, you're able to articulate these things in plain English? Um, do you have a connection with working men? And what do you think it is beyond politics? So. Uh with Arnold Schwarzenegger, when I said I'm not doing The Apprentice, they wanted to give me a five-year extension on The Apprentice. I was doing great. Even with 14 seasons, I was doing great. So NBC came up, they won. And I said, no, I'm going to run for president. They couldn't believe it. I remember Mark Burnett, who's a great guy, saying, you don't understand. They want to give you an extension. Nobody turns down an extension. Nobody ever. I said, actually, there were one or two that did, OK? But nobody ever turns down. To be a no movie star does, because television, you're on every week. With a movie, you're up once a year, maybe, OK, depending on how long it takes to make the movie. I said, no, I want to do this, Mark. I've done it for 14 seasons, 12 years, 14 seasons, at a couple that were doubled up. And it's been a tremendous success. And they wanted to keep it going. And they tried. We tried Martha Stewart, and she failed. We tried. Then I said, who do you want to have replace me? Because I own it with Mark Burnett. And I said, who do you think it would be? And I thought it was a good idea. They said, do you think we could get Arnold Schwarzenegger? And even movie stars want to have primetime television. You know, it's a, a lot of people don't realize that, but a lot of them do. Because in many ways, it's bigger in terms of certain things. So they said, we're going to go and ask Arnold Schwarzenegger to do it. First of all, they were very angry at me. They came with the whole NBC group, the whole, every executive, they came up. They said, you got to be crazy. You don't have a chance. You're not going to, we want you to sign. And you know, they're throwing millions and millions of dollars a show at me. And I'm saying, no, they never had that before. I said, no, I want to do it. And you know, I guess people would say it was a long shot. I didn't feel it was such a long shot, because I saw polls that when four years before, they put my name in a poll with Romney, and I blew Romney out the window. But who wouldn't? So what happens is, I said, no, I want to run. And maybe that's why NBC has such unbelievable hostility to me. But they say that, I always said it was the opposite. I said, well, one group I know is going to treat me well. That's NBC, because I made them a lot of money, and I had the number one show a lot of nights, and you know, et cetera, et cetera. Because you know, when I did The Apprentice, uh, they had no top 10 shows, none. They were dying. And I was, this thing was a rocket. This was a real, a real success, and it lasted for years. So what happened is uh, I said, that sounds good. Go ahead. Good luck with it. And it was Arnold Schwarzenegger. And he bombed like you wouldn't believe. The people, you know, they have the meters. And people turned it on to watch. And within 15 minutes, every set was off. It was a disaster. He's much better at The Terminator than he was at The Apprentice. And uh, he's just a different kind of a guy. He wasn't a very successful governor in California. He didn't right. do a very good job. And uh, he supported Kasich. So when I heard he was supporting Kasich, I said, he's not my kind of guy. And then after Kasich, he supported crooked Hillary Clinton. So between the two of them, so I haven't been to. And in fact, a lot of people said, hey, would you have rather had Arnold on The Apprentice make it big, because you own the show, with Mark, and you know, Mark Burnett and that whole group, who's, who, by the way, is fantastic. Would you have rather had to be a tremendous success and make, or would you have rather had him fail badly? I said, probably fail. You know, it's one of those little things. But he did fail. And uh, yeah, he's, a, he's very extreme on the environment. Obama left you a letter. I guess that's the practice now. They right. put it in the drawer at the Resolute desk or something. Right. And it's a letter that I think he writes for history, but he didn't really mean. Because he says in the letter, among other things, if you need any help, let me know. You become president, and he does everything he can to undermine you. And so do his people. What did you make of that letter when you read it? I thought it was a beautiful letter, yep. handwritten letter. It was uh, sounded like it was from the heart. 
But don't forget, they spied on my campaign. They created the fake dossier. The dossier was a fake about Trump in Moscow with hookers and everything. It was a fake. It was all made up. And steal. All made up. And it was paid for by the Democrat Party and crooked Hillary Clinton. The whole thing was a fake. So they spied on my campaign, think of it. How about if we spied on their campaign? You would have talked about the death penalty. Let's reinstitute the death penalty. They spied in the campaign. And uh, it's, it's just incredible. But one of the problems I would have had with Obama, I got along with him very well when, as, you know, during the transition. He was very nice. His wife was very nice, both of them. But uh, one of the problems with Obama is we really are different in the sense that I felt so differently about things than he did. In Europe, they loved him because he allowed Europe to rip us off. They said they like him better in Germany. They should like him better in Germany. Okay? They should because I didn't allow Germany to get away with what they were doing. I sent Angela Merkel a white flag of surrender because I said, when you made the deal with Putin, you're getting 68% of your energy from somebody that you've had numerous wars with, world wars. I said, so I'm going to give you the white flag. This way you don't have to look it up when you surrender to Russia someday. And if you remember, I made a speech at the United Nations, and the Russian delegation thought it was extremely funny when I mentioned that they shouldn't be doing it. A year later, most of those guys were fired. They were fired because I turned out to be right. You know what? Uh, what Germany's doing now, if you take a look at this, uh, Germany, it's unbelievable. They're building all coal plants, hundreds of coal-fired plants. But they tried doing a deal with Russia. I was the one that exposed it, Nord Stream 2. Nobody ever heard of Nord Stream 2. I said, wait a minute, you have a massive pipeline going through all of Europe, and Russia will dominate Europe if you do that, because all they have to do is say, we're going to turn off your energy. That's the end of Europe. I can't understand why somebody would allow that to happen. But I, I disagreed with Merkel. And I got along actually well with her. But I disagreed with that, and I disagreed on her allowing 2 million people in from the Middle East. And that goes for Sweden and other countries, too, because those countries are not the same. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.